In this table, the data shows weekly salaries for five workers. Ahmed 100 LE, Omar 400, Iman 200, Dina 500, and Adil 300. To make this data more readable, it's better to display them in a graph instead of displaying them randomly in a table. When having a close look at the raw data and what is the aim behind classifying them, we will find that the aim is to determine who are the highest paid workers and who are the lowest paid ones. After determining the aim, which is comparison, so the most suitable chart for the data will be the bar chart. Now we have a bar chart. It contains two axes. The x-axis represents workers' name, and the y-axis represents their salaries. Then each bar represents the units. By having a close look at this bar chart, it seems unreadable for many, and it doesn't look so good. So how can we make it look better and more readable? First, rearrange the salaries from the highest salary to the lowest salary, and it will be Dina 500 LE, Omar 400, Adel 300, Iman 200, and Ahmed 100. Second, after rearranging the salaries as we did, redraw the bar chart to go with it. The bar should be from the biggest to smallest. The chart looks neat, organized and readable for the viewer who will be able to understand who has the highest salary and who has the lowest salary. And this is the target from this comparison. Now here are some extra points we can add. Delete the y-axis and put the values in the salaries above the bars. Also eliminate the grid line in the background as it is useless. Also we can convert the graph from vertical to horizontal to make the graph looks more professional. Now, put the two graphs side by side, the initial one and the last version that had modifications. The latter looks so different, more professional and more readable. And this is the difference between displaying data and visualizing data, as visualizing data focuses more on making data more readable and understandable. Other effects can be added to the graph to make it more readable such as colors, titles, headlines, subtitles, and the source. Don't forget the other formatting tips covered in the previous chapter. All the above steps can be done with different types of charts, such as pie charts, line charts, and histograms.